Hello, I'm Billy Hoffman from Rigger. If you're familiar with Rigger's optimization product, you already know that it takes a snapshot of how your site loads, runs that content through hundreds of curated optimization checks, identifies specific performance defects, and gives you step-by-step -step instructions about how to resolve those problems. But what if you want to customize the optimization checks to only show the performance defects that matter most to you, or control the severity, or even how bad a defect has to be before it gets reported? Well, today I'm going to show you four new features that makes it easy to customize your results so you can align what problems Rigor finds with your own internal goals, processes, and best practices. So let's scroll down here and take a look at some of the defects we found. So there's 58 defects here, and let's look at, say, these three image optimization checks. Maybe we know the design team is already working on resolving the issue, and we don't want to have these results front and center in our results anymore. So we can select these three and actually go ahead and mute them. So if we scroll up, we see we now have 55 defects. Um, now, when you do this snapshot or any additional snapshot, Rigor will continue to find these problems, but will kind of silo them off over in this tab of muted defects so that you can still continue to see how many items are affected and what the savings would be, but they no longer kind of appear in the main list of problems. In addition to muting defects, you can also define the severity for a defect. Let's look at combinable JavaScript libraries. This is a pretty important optimization. We rank this as a high, but maybe organizationally you think this is a critical defect for us. And maybe you have a, a criteria that says you never ship with critical defects. Well, you can actually click here and change the severity from high to critical. And if we update, we see that there are now cr two critical defects. And if we scroll up, we see there are two defects listed in the results. This is a great way to align the findings that are coming out of rigor with what you think are most important and impactful. And we not only updated it for this snapshot, but any snapshot moving forward. So, so far we've looked at the ability to mute defects and change the severity, but now you also have the ability to change the threshold at which a check flags. In other words, how bad does something need to be before we actually tell you about it? Let's click on this content serve without HTTP compression defect. So we see that there's two affected URLs, and if we scroll down, we can actually see it's two SVG fonts, or SVG images, a lot of people forget about these. Um, and there's some pretty significant savings here. Um, but you'll notice there's a little tab over here that's called unflagged URLs. Let's click that. Here we can see that there's actually three more URLs. Uh, we see two WAF files and an icon file that also should be served with HTTP compression, but weren't. And we see that there's some pretty good savings here. However, it, the savings wasn't significant enough to go over our threshold. Well, what's our threshold? Well, if we scroll up, we can see right here at the top, it says that we flag this if the savings is greater than 10K and the percentage improvement is greater than 50%. And these savings here, while pretty impressive, aren't larger than that. So we don't actually bubble the results out. Now, you actually can go ahead and adjust this if you'd like. Let's say you're really sophisticated and you want to know about every possible optimization you can make with HTTP compression. Well, you can lower the severity down to a low, and we see that now the update, we're flagging all five defects, uh, and the savings has to be greater than 2K or greater than 30%. And if we scroll down, we're actually flagging all five. Now we could go the other way. Maybe you're really focused on just trying to do uh, the most obvious, biggest bang for your buck performance optimizations. You just wanna see the worst for the worst. Well, you can come up here and change the threshold instead of being low to make it high. So in this case, we see that the savings has to be greater than 50K or the percentage has to be greater than 50% for us to flag the defect. And we see over here, there's only one defect that's getting flagged, the really bad SVG. So using these predefined thresholds is a really great way to kind of control how bad something needs to be before we tell you about it. Now let's take this customization one step further. With Rigor, you now have the ability to find a custom threshold. For example, let's say you don't want to see this problem unless there is at least 100K of savings. And so if we update this, we see that there's now actually zero affected issues. And if we come back out to the snapshot, 
When we scroll down here, we actually if there's this great unflag tag, this is actually all of the defects that we found a problem for, but the problem wasn't greater than the threshold. And we see right here the five links that for on content server without compression that weren't great enough. And we see that there's now only one um, critical issue. So uh, I love this feature because if you as an organization have a set of best practices or saying we won't allow, you know, we're, we're only going to shard if there are at least 30 resources being loaded from a single host name. Whatever it is, you can set your own custom thresholds to match what your organization thinks is important. We're super excited to release these new features. These customizations will make it easy for you to find and fix the problems that are slowing down your site.